Welcome back guys and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at doing the screen wipery thingy my bob animation and more thingies. Okay, so first of all we're going to go back to our text editor and then we are going to need to add some classes. So if we go to the index and we go underneath the body but above the barber wrapper and uh, we need to make the the, some divs here so my mouse has just disappeared there we go there it is okay so uh, let's make a class of screen wipe and top okay and then we du we can duplicate this and we can go screen wipe bottom Let's move this up a bit okay so uh, and then what we need to do is we need to copy this obviously these will go in your header or your footer but because we're doing it like this we need to include them on every page so we're gonna go like this on page two and then we're gonna go again the same place below the body above the barber wrappers with the screen wipes and then we want to go to our CSS just move this up a bit Okay, and we need to style these. So um, we're going to go screen wipe uh, top. I am so bad at naming divs. Obviously, you guys can call them whatever you like. Um, width uh, 100% and height will be 100 VH. And uh, then we need to make give them a background color. So I'm going to say background and I'm going to go for a color. Let's just go, let's just do this a dark gray for now, 666. And um, then we're going to give it a position of fixed, position fixed. And then we're going to say um, we're going to need it to be on top, so we're going to have to give it a Z index of say 1000. Okay. Um, and then we're going to move it. So we need to go top minus a hundred percent and that will move it out of our screen and then we can go ahead and we can copy this so we're going to go copy and paste and then we can just change top here to bottom minus a hundred percent okay so uh, that would give us our wipery things um, that come in and out uh, and reveal the next page so what do we need to do next? Um, we need to make these work. We need to use GSAP. Um, obviously you guys can use whatever you like to, to animate these. You could use CSS if you want, but um, I'm gonna be using GSAP. So let's go back to our browser. And in here, we, we need to search for, um, let's say, uh, I can't remember, tween max CDN. Let's try that. Tween max, there we go. See, and then click on the top link here and scroll down and we can see tweenmax.min.js. So let's copy this, come back to our brackets folder and in our index, let's start with index. Um, we can go underneath here, we can go uh, underneath our barber script, we can add another script. So we need to go script again script and then we need to give it a source script source equals and we're going to paste the CDN in there and then again we're going to copy this and into page 2.html we can add that again here and then page 3.html and again under here we can add that in there so that will give us that library okay and what's next I guess we need to go into our main.js file and you can see here um, here you can use your own logic for example you can use different transition based on the current page or link um, okay so what we can do is uh, we need to get, make a new timeline um, so let's have a think we need to go to um, we need to make a variable let's let's just move this down a sec sorry 
So let's go var timeline TL equals new timeline max and brackets and oh then we need to go TL and we need to go dot two then we're gonna grab the class of screen wipe top and we are gonna say 0 0.5 seconds curly brackets and we want to say y we want to move it y the y 50% okay and comma and we need to say repeat one and yo yo true this basically means that it will come down and then bounce back up again with the yo-yo okay and then we need to go under here we can just duplicate this line so let's duplicate the line and then we can go screen wipe bottom oh button uh, and we can say minus 50% this time same again right okay so um, what we need to do is th let's just let's just see what's let's just go back go here go to a browser okay page one page two you can see there's the top one that's working so that's all good what's happened to our bottom one boing boing so we have got screen wipe bottom 0 0.5 um, Let's check our CSS, um, main.css, um, screen wipe top width, width, screen, oh, duh, screen wipe bottom, there we go, I'm stupid, sorry guys, let's try that now and let's hopefully see this working a bit better. So, um, let, yeah, let's test. Test, test, test. Okay, page one. Oh, top one, bottom one. Okay, can you see, you can see that top one's coming in first, then the bottom one's coming in after, so we don't want that. So we need to go back into our brackets and we need to move this back um, because it's a timeline. So this is taking 0 0.5 seconds to come down comes down to the bottom finishes here and then it come and then it starts here with the screen white right bottom so what we can do here is we can go comma and then we can go speech marks and minus equals one and that means that it should move at the same time so let's come back here that's taking that one back a second so if we go page two there we go page three page one page two and page three there we go guys okay so um, there is a slight problem that we have now if we come back to say the index now obviously not all web pages fit perfectly into the browser window they most of them scroll so if I show you this if I come here and if I copy this wrapper you don't have to do this but you'll see what's going on and then I go like that and then I do the same on page two so we can just paste that down here and let's test this one you can come back to this page here so I go to page one to our index and it scrolls down now the problem you have is if you click a link now page oh sorry no that's my fault so go to page two and can you see we switch we start at the same area in the browser so let's go back here and you can see this gap here now we don't want to do that we want to make sure that we go back to the top so every time we go back to the 
page to a new page we want to start there not not here not in this position so what we do is we go back to our brackets oh no we don't need to relaunch that and then on the fade in function let's just go down here we can go uh, dollar and we want to say the window and we can go dot scroll top and zero and now hopefully hopefully this will take us back right so let's refresh page two scroll down a bit let's create one and there we go so we're going back to the top so page two and then if we scroll down we're going back to the top of page one and that is the first transition tutorial completed so um i hope you enjoyed this we um i will be doing some more exciting transitions in future i know this one was just a bit boring but it was just to show you guys kind of how everything works and hopefully give you an idea um, but yeah thanks very much for watching if you do want to see more let me know in the comments um, if you've got any ideas for transitions let me know um, all the usual stuff don't forget to like and subscribe but yeah thanks again for watching guys take care cheers